guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for everyone that subscribed so far and watched and liked my videos. For you people that have DM'd me on Instagram and given me some really nice feedback, I appreciate it a lot. Today's video, I did a little what I eat in a day video. I do like doing these, but sometimes I eat the most randomest things. I do eat quite healthy, even though it's random. But yeah, in the future, hopefully, um, if I invest in like better camera and equipment, etc., I'd be able to kind of film um, recipe videos as well. But I mean, there's quite a few recipe videos on my Instagram, on my IGTV. Um, I used to do quite a few before lockdown happened. I have started a bulk, so my calories right now are 2,400. The meals that you see in this what I eat in a day is um, a lot of food and it is quite a lot of calories. One's different as well, so it depends on your goal. Um, you might see another girl eating like 3,000 calories, but she might have a different starting weight, a different height. So I've been doing my bulk for a week now, I think, and it's been a bit of a struggle. I mean, I was eating three meals a day, but for me eating like three meals a day, like no snacks, like just breakfast, lunch and dinner is like malnourished. Um, whereas before I was eating five to six like meals and snacks. So yeah, I lost a bit of weight. I lose weight so fast. I lost like two kilograms in the space of like two, three weeks of moving back. The main thing I love about bulking is, you know, people ask me why I want to do it. Firstly, the obvious reasons, I do want to get a bit bigger. Um, I'd love to have, I'd love to get slightly bigger glutes. Um, I know it's already at a great size, but I'm just curious to see how big we can go um, and especially like my legs as well just want to gain some muscle also um number two which is probably the main reason actually for me is i love heavy lifting um, although you know it's quite a struggle and i did i damaged my so my bulk last year came to an abrupt end last year because i damaged my arms from deadlifting i think i'm just gonna have to be careful um, my osteopath has signed me off so i can start heavy lifting which is really good like being in the gym and i like lifting heavy weights um it just makes me feel really good it's, it's like a stress relief so um and then being a being on a surplus and being able to lift weights because you are on a surplus you've got more more energy um it's just fun so that's why i've never really done a cut because it's just like that compared to eating loads and lifting heavy just does not sound fun but i think i am going to do a cut i'm going to do my first cut after i bulk i'm finding it a little bit tricky trying to fit in all my meals um and tracking is not that easy sorry i'm just gonna yeah, so yeah tracking's not that easy especially if you have quite a busy lifestyle and i think i do like i never rest so which is not a good thing um, so, you know, sitting there and tracking all my meals is, is um, not the most fun thing. But after dinner, I just want to kind of brush my teeth and get in bed and like relax and do my work. So I know I've got like my bedtime snack pending and I should really have that last um, extra few cal calories to put me in a surplus. But you know, these things take time and your body does adapt. Once you start feeding it loads of calories and a lot of food, even if you're not hungry, it will be a struggle, but you, your body will get used to it and you'll be able to like eat so much more. And because you are training heavy, building more muscle, um, muscle requires a lot of energy. Like you could be sitting there and burning so many calories because your muscles just constantly need energy. So the more muscle you're building, um, the more kind of calories you're burning as well. So the more you need to eat, especially if you want to put yourself in a surplus. So that will naturally happen. Um, you'll be able to eat a lot more. I'm telling this to myself as well because at the minute it is a struggle. So that's it. I've only been doing it for a week. Obviously, it's my second time I've done it. Do I have anything else to say? Um, ladies, don't be afraid to eat and lift heavy. It will change your life. Like the only negative is like it can get quite expensive. Um, yeah, it can get quite expensive because 
you're constantly buying a lot of food if you saw my grocery haul video there's quite a lot of food in there but i do buy a lot of um frozen food canned cupboard pantry foods i am quite bloated because i am cramming so many calories into my body um and i do eat quite a lot of fiber i'm eating more like plant-based stuff right now i mean i eat a lot of fish and eggs and plant stuff um <laughs> So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. This was just supposed to be a really quick introduction, but your girl loves to talk. So hopefully in the future I'll have like better videos, um, better quality videos. It gives you some insight into my putting on weight, bulking phase, or whatever you want to call it. So this is my late lunch, um, really late lunch because it's nearly 4pm so I don't really know what meal this is. Um, but I did have breakfast and then I had a snack as you saw and then I got busy so I kind of forgot to eat. So yeah, these are some leftover beans, um, two eggs um, and then some mushrooms. So this is like one of my favourite kind of lunchy type brunch breakfast type of meals. Especially if I'm at home, um, I'll kind of make this. If I'm at work, then obviously I'll have something a bit different. But yes. Um, this is another really nice snack. Especially if you're not really hungry. It's quite light. Because um, you've just got like an apple. Um, but then kind of spreading some peanut butter or almond butter on. Um, does increase the calories and your healthy fats and a little bit of protein. And I threw some pumpkin seeds on there as well, just for some kind of added nutrition. So this is a really good snack. I don't actually like apples that much, but um, yeah, dipping in with like almond butter or peanut butter is really nice. This is my dinner. Um, this is the same pasta that I had yesterday. I cooked it. Um, I just had two batches of it, so I will insert what I had yesterday, um, but I put some extra nutrition, nutritional yeast on top. Um, it just gives that cheesy flavour because I don't really eat cheese that much. Um, so yeah, that's like, this is a lentil bolognese type ragu thing. I literally made it um, like a pasta sauce, so I just cut onions um put some garlic in cook those and then cook some mushroom and i think peppers yeah mushroom and peppers um a yellow pepper and then i put some nutritional yeast in there i put some basil and oregano um and then i put the sauce in i think i might have put all those seasonings after the sauce i can't even remember but anyway i put the sauce in um just like a, a passata 
with some tomato puree in there as well uh, and then I kind of season and taste and then mix all that in oh and sriracha because this is slightly spicy green lentils I just get from like Tesco it comes in a can empty that you rinse it and get rid of the water and they're already cooked so you just pop them in there last and that's it really you can like season whatever you want and then this is whole milk pasta um, and I've got like a really random salad here like I just had a whole iceberg lettuce I needed to use up so there's iceberg lettuce tomato and this I know it's really random I would like crumble some feta because I do eat feta and put a bit of that in there but I don't have any so this is vegan cheese it's the vile life one which is in my grocery haul as well and it just it's coconut based so it gives a really nice coconut taste but these are slices they're not grated so I had to like put them on like that but yeah this is my last snack slash meal slash food of the day literally two weetabix and some strawberries that really needed to be eaten um and that is it i like having like cereal or weetabix or like toast or something um like before bed so yeah that is my full day of eating Hey, just pop in on the end to say thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on instagram um because i do post a lot of workout videos motivational things tips and hints on growing a booty all of those fun things so um yeah thank you so much